what I'll do will be going down to brass tacks. This is what we are doing in order to first attract uh, more talent and secondly to develop safety. Um, as you know, uh, when you start preaching and uh, teaching and developing safety, it's actually uh, getting the young people away from their comfort zones. So it's something that you have to force uh, to them. Uh, many of these uh, things, slides that I will show you will be familiar to many who have uh, cadets with MAP. So I will just go through a flurry. Uh, I'll keep this pointed to the guy. Every time you point this, he presses the, that's actually the remote part of it. Every time you point the remote, uh, the guy there presses the button. So <laughs> this will be on continuing uh, basis. So this will be a continuing slide. So this is our cover, uh, this is our cover slide. You see again, uh, the, uh, the uh, watchful eyes of Captain Oka watching all of us here. Uh, that photo is taken by, uh, uh, by, um, um, by drone operated by cadets. Okay. How do I do this? There. Um, well, we are uh, owned, developed, and operated by a union, by Amusup. Uh, we have 122 hectares over in uh, Bataan, just across the bay. Um, uh, we have 53 buildings and 62 simulators of all sizes and shapes, and getting two more. Uh, um, we have graduated almost 4,000 officers, including 114 women. We have tried to give, uh, we have tried to ensure their, uh, their employment after uh, graduation, and many of them are still are. Uh, we have uh, a batting average of about 88% still working in the maritime industry. Um, we are certified ISO 9001. Uh, we are certified uh, uh, quality maritime education and training, also by OPITO, which is the offshore petroleum industry, and by the local Pakukova. We are members of IAMU, the International Association of Maritime Universities, uh, only 67 in the world, uh, two from the Philippines, and Global Med and AMPU. There. We are now at the crossroads or at the uh, uh, transition stage, uh, still trying to uh, uh, develop and train our officers to become uh, for their conventional ships, and at the same time giving uh, more inputs uh, for uh, the new, uh, for the future of work. Uh, and so here uh, we have a workshop skills laboratory. Uh, we have two training ships. We have upgraded our bridge and engine uh, simulators to KSIM. Uh, even our lab vault uh, laboratories are now, using, uh, are now using advanced automation, and the cadets are doing that. Uh, we have a learning management system uh, where we have uh, finally gotten the approval of Videotel to uh, put it in our learning management system. It took us a long time to arrange this because uh, they didn't want the, their CBTs to be out in recto. Um, so uh, they, they, they really were very hesitant, but now they have agreed. We have 175 titles of Videotel, uh, 60 titles of Seagull, and those that we have developed, it's in our learning management system using a local uh, area network. And we have a tablet for each cadet. And before classes start, they have to have assignments that they must uh, stream on their uh, laptops. Uh, we have smart TV in, our, in all our classrooms so that instructors will refrain from, <laughs> from doing all the talking. Uh, he will just show some, uh, he will just, we are trying to uh, push for uh, student-centered learning. Unfortunately, instructors old and young, uh, like talking <laughs> very much. Uh, at the same time, while they're talking, the students are sleeping. So uh, that's why we are going into this. We have robotics classes already. Um, it's still not in the curriculum, but it's advanced. Um, and we have two 3D printers, uh, and the cadets are operating that to ensure that, uh, that uh, in the future when they are confronted with a 3D printer, they know what to do. 
we are going to procure one more 3D printer to ensure that we can manufacture spare parts for ships uh, um, in our 3D printer. And uh, we have two drones, as I uh, said, uh, so that the cadets will know how it is to operate um, to operate uh, uh, remote control. Uh, ongoing projects, we have, uh, we together with Marina, with PTC, with uh, Max SI and Aboyev, uh, we have uh, actually uh, pilot tested uh, blockchain technology and our uh, certifications. Uh, that was completed last October and this will continue. Um, for MAP, uh, we are not stopping at certificates. We are, move, we are also going to put into blockchain um, the training record book and the transcript of records so that the, the ship managers or the crewing agencies or the owners who want to query, who want to verify uh, the, uh, who want to verify the, uh, what the performance of the cadet, they can look into it. But it's still, the information still belongs to the cadets. Uh, we have a ballast uh, water treatment simulator and it's going to be online uh, next month. Uh, also, uh, to reduce our, uh, our carbon footprint, um, all of our outdoor lights are uh, solar. We are going to shift also our indoor lights into grid uh, solar system. Um, in order to expand the uh, curriculum some more, uh, we have sent two of our graduates to the World Maritime University. One is taking a Master of Science in uh, Maritime Education and Training, and the other is in Logistics Management. So, in, uh, that's exactly what uh, Mr. Borromeo Dito has been saying a while ago, that we must diversify. diversify. We are going to start teaching logistics to our cadets as well. And of course, with the new engines, uh, ME, that's the um, uh, electronic engine, CAMLESS, uh, we're going to have training on that starting uh, next year. I'm sorry, yeah, next year, in March. <clears throat> our current enrollment stands at 1,762. Uh, it goes that way, and our, uh, uh, on the average, our uh, our attrition rate, meaning from the time that they started uh, until the time they graduated, is around uh, 10%. Um, so there's a lot of attraction. From our graduates, we have uh, uh, 192 uh, master mariners. Three of them are women. One is actually on board the tanker as a master at this time. We have 200 licensed chief engineers. Two are women, chief mates and uh, second engineers. Uh, just to show you how we try to attract, we do not advertise. Uh, we have 52 testing centers all over the country, one for each major city. Each city or each testing center is backed up by a parents organization. So it's the parents that spot the, the good prospects and convince them, convince the parents to let their children take the test. Uh, as you can see, uh, back in 2003, for class of 2007, uh, we only had uh, 5,000 applicants. Went down to 30, went uh, up to 13,000 applicants for the class of 2017. Went down because of the uh, uh, no graduates for the sec for the uh, K to 12 program. Went back up again, and for the class of 2023, our first year cadets now. We had 13,000 uh, applicants who took the test, and we only got the top 490. Um, so, in essence, we are attracting them because first, it's free tuition, free board, and lodging. That's the uh, that's the that's a very critical way of attracting talent. And of course, we have to filter them through this uh, procedure. Um, on top of that, we show them all the technology that we have, all the equipment that we have to ensure. That they uh, that they will get uh, uh, a high quality of training. We have two training ships there. Uh, we have many facilities, simulators, uh, up to VR, full mission bridge and emotion platform, uh, firefighting facilities. Uh, we have chemical tankers. Uh, we have helicopter underwater escape trainers. This is our pre-fall lifeboat. Uh, 
and uh, of course, research. We ask our students to do research. Uh, and these are all researches on safety only. So we have many other researches done by the students. Uh, that's only on safety. And so how do we, uh, how do we develop the safety culture uh, at MAP? As I said, uh, it's really getting the students away from their comfort zones. Uh, and so, uh, of course, we have lectures. Uh, then after the, uh, then we have uh, risk assessment, uh, um, job hazard analysis, so that we can remove hazard measures, like uh, eliminate them if there are any dangerous, uh, slippery uh, floors or uh, stairs, etc. Uh, substitution, replace them with something else. Uh, isolate uh, engineering and uh, administrative uh, controls, posters, complete uh, uh, personal uh, protective equipment, toolbox meetings in every activity, not only during class, but also for uh, their non, for extracurricular activities. And of course, we have midshipman regulations, and more importantly, we have to, Im we have to uh, do behavioral change. We have to change their behavior in order for them to really maintain a safety culture. And as always, we keep on saying that uh, safety is a way of life. Thank you very much. Good morning to all.